and gentlemen, boys and girls, citizens of all ages, welcome back to another edition, Star Citizen 3.10.1 Live, and I wanted to bring up something that has been on the back of my mind for quite a little while now, um, and if you saw the thumbnail, then you, or the fucking thing that popped up like 30 something seconds ago, um, then you would know uh, I want to talk about tractor beams. And one of the things that got me thinking about tractor beams, um, well first there's the SRV that SIG is going to be coming out with, fucking god knows when, um, and then secondly, I was flying around in my caterpillar, as you can see, uh, in all of its glory upon screen now. And while I was flying around, I was in QT, I think I was going from like Microtech to Crusader, I was meeting up with a buddy of mine, and while just wandering around trying to, you know, waste time, I remembered something. Uh, I went down into the command module, uh, as I almost always forget that fucking thing is down there, you know, like the ladder in the back area. Uh, so I went down there, and then... I remembered this, the terminal that's down there that leads to the tractor beam. Now, tractor beams, uh, you can see the, the caterpillar ones are, are broken as fuck right now. For some reason you just automatically either pass out or lay down when you try to use it. I don't know, maybe my dude's just retarded. Um, no, that's that's quite obviously an animation issue. But anywho, um, you know, there's that tractor beam station there underneath the command module, and then there's also the command. Uh, I'm sorry, the tractor beam over on the parallel side, uh, right near the wing. But of course, the character also lays down. So I don't know if he's having vertigo or a seizure, whatever. I don't know. Then we got this mystical blue light there. But so tractor beams. Uh, how are these going to be utilized? You know, I'd like them to come on sooner than later. It looks like one of the tractor beam area or items is right there on the wing. Um, and I think, you know, you have a decent view depending on how the tractor beam is going to work. Like, if you're facing starboard, I don't know how you're going to be able to face forward. You know, like if there's stuff in front of you. Um, but I assume there'll be some maybe AR way of, of doing it. Um, and I wonder, you know, when is this going to come online? At this exact point in time, yeah, it's not super duper useful, but it absolutely can be if you happen to come across a disabled vehicle or if one of your buddies gets their engine shot to shit and you happen to be, you know, in a convoy or they're your escort and you know, maybe threats are cleared out, you could at least use the tractor beam to tow them. Uh, the same with, you know, adding cargo into your ship. You know, right now, we've only got the little hand ones, the, the like, single SCU boxes. And trying to move a load of those is a fucking pain. Uh, especially for anybody who's done any of the drug missions, uh, like on Area 18, uh, or I think there's even a drug mission on Hurston, I don't remember. But when you have to go down to the bunker and grab a bunch of different shit, and you got to get that one particular pack of drugs that they want. There's still those pallets upon pallets upon pallets of drugs. Now, one issue that I do notice on the winglet here for the tractor beam up in that little parallel area, it looks like it's not on a gimbal. So I wonder how that would work if the beam itself would move. And then conversely on the command module, I also, I don't see anything, uh, minus this mount here. So I wonder if this mount is actually where the tractor beam is going to go for the command module. Now conversely, for the command module, maybe the tractor beam will actually be these little antennae type things that jut out from the front, which, on f you know, originally, those were supposed to be front-facing weapons. Thanks for screwing us on that, SIG. Um, I think it would have been really nice to have big-ass weapons on the front there. Uh, granted, 
they did buff the weapons on the command module. So, I mean, that's at least a little bit of progress. You know, I'll take it. it makes me happy that it's not just four size ones that you couldn't even take down a fucking, you know, small ship with. So I'm, I'm at least happy they buffed them a little bit for the pilot. You know, now we're not completely fucking helpless. I would be remiss to say I would not be surprised if those little antennae at the f little, relatively speaking, those antennae at the front do become the way that the command module can use the tractor beam, but I wonder if that's the case because how would you then maneuver things, you know, are you just going to be maneuvering the commodities into the front and then using the wing uh, tractor beam to get them into the side, or are there going to be tractor beams on both sides? Um, that is something I am a little interested to see how they tackle. Uh, again, I would be happier if they came on sooner than later. Uh, of course, some people will argue, oh, there's not a need. Well, maybe not, but there's definitely a want. Uh, I've seen a couple of videos. I am not the first person to bring up uh, tractor beams. I'm not the first person to ask about tractor beams, and I sure as shit will not be the last. Now... <laughs> There's one more thing I want I want to bring up before I end this video, and it's completely out of left field. It's going to be completely off topic. Well, it's going to be on topic, at least in terms of Star Citizen. But anyway, hey, let me show you something. Can I just say how much this loading screen pisses me off? And I'll tell you why. There's one big issue here. Do you see it? It's the Reclaimer. The Reclaimer at Port Olisar. That is no longer possible. You cannot spawn it at Port Olisar, and you cannot legally land it at Port Olisar. Literally unplayable. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But, alright, I, I think that's enough for me today. Um, if you like this video, please leave a like. If you would like to get more into the conversation, uh, check out down below in the description. There's the Discord link. Uh, if you want to do stuff that's that's a place to, to go and do it um but other than that i'm gonna leave the video here uh let me know your your thoughts down below i'm interested to know uh you know how wide the want for tractor beams are because i think that could definitely lead to some more emergent gameplay you know if somebody lands somewhere on a planet where they can't you know, move, they can't get back into their ship, so they can't move it somewhere else, you know, you could come into the rescue. And I think, I think having tractor beams come out ahead of the SRV is not a bad idea. What do you think? Let me know down below. Other than that, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I hope all you beautiful bastards out there, you have yourselves a wonderful day, morning, evening, whenever, wherever, you just so happen to be. This has been Will. Daylight Gamer, signing out. Love, peace, chicken grease.